Welcome to Linux Hub Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to migrate LVM partitions to a new logical volume. LVM migration is one of the excellent feature where we can migrate the logical volume to a new disk without the data loss and downtime. The purpose of this feature is to move our own data from old disk to a new disk. Migration can be done in SATA, SSD, SAS and SAN storage iSCSI or FC. Now I am going to check the present drives. For that fdisk space hyphen l. Here you can be able to see the partition dev sda. It is 32.2 gb and under that there are 5 subdivisions sda1, sda2, sda3, sda4 and sda5. Now I am going to show you the logical volumes. For that lvs. Here I am having one logical volume with the size of 8 GB. Once we have confirmed our existing drive, now it's time to attach our new drive to our system. After attaching a newly added drive, now it's time to check by using fdisk. fdisk space hyphen L. Now you can able to see a newly added drive DEV STB. It is about the size of 21.5 GB. To check the present logical and physical volume, for that command is df space hyphen h. Here you can be able to see the logical volume and the physical volume that has been mounted under the directory. Now I am going to migrate this directory only to a new drive. For that I am going to show you that directory. cd mnt logical you can able to see there is one file name file1.txt is present inside the directory mnt logical i am going to migrate this directory to a new drive without any data loss of file1.txt i am going to show you the content that are present inside the file1.txt you can able to see the contents that are present inside that file. Now I am going to migrate this directory without any data loss to my new drive. Before doing migration, we need to be make sure to confirm the name of the logical volume and the volume group. For logical volume, LVS. Here you can able to see the logical volume name and the volume group name. Now I am going to create physical volume in my newly added drive. For that pv create slash dev slash sdb1 my newly added drive space hyphen v. Now the physical volume has been created successfully. Now I am going to add my newly created physical volume to existing volume group vg1. For that command vg extend is used vg extend name of the volume group the drive name sdb1 now the extended volume group has been created successfully to get the full information list about the volume group use vg display command vg display name of the volume group hyphen v here you can able to see the logical volume path and the description about the volume group and the physical volumes that are mounted under the volume group. For more information about the devices that are mapped, DM setup. DM setup space DEPS and the path of the LVM. VG1 LV1. Now you can able to see the dependencies and the PV and the drives. Now it's a time to do the migration using mirroring method. For that I am going to use LV convert for doing migration data from old logical volume to new drive. For that LV convert hyphen M is refers to mirror and one is refers to adding a single mirror on the path of the LVM. 
vg1 lv1 now you need to hit the new drive which you want to mount now the mirroring has been done successfully now the migration process has been done successfully once the migration process is completed verify the converted mirror for that lvs hyphen o plus devices now you can able to see the converted mirror once you are sure that the converted mirror is perfect now you can remove the old virtual disk sda5 earlier we used one for adding the mirror now we are going to use zero for removing the mirror hyphen m zero the path of the lvm the old drive name sda5 now the logical volume has been converted once the old virtual disk is removed you can recheck the device for logical volume using the following command lvs hyphen o plus devices here you can able to see the new device has been added dev sgb1 now i am going to verify the files that were migrated from the old to new drive if the same data is present at the new drive that means we have done every steps perfectly for checking i need to move to that directory cd mnt logical you can able to see the file 1.txt is present inside that directory i'm going to show you the contents that are present inside that file cat file 1.txt you can able to see that the same contents that are present inside the file without any changes and also the data loss after doing all the changes now it's time to delete the old drive from the volume group for that command is vg reduce the path of the volume group and the old drive name sda5 now the drive has been removed from the volume group vg1 for checking vgs hyphen o plus devices you can able to see volume group vg1 contains the device dv sgb1 to check the logical volume for that lvs is used after removing the old drive sda5 from the volume group vg1 still our logical volume is present there because we have migrated to sgb1 from sda5 thank you for watching for more information visit www.linuxhelp.com